Let's dive into our game settings within Minecraft Education because changing any of these will kind of be unique and subjective depending on your use and focus of Minecraft Education in your classroom and for student creativity. The quickest way to get to our game settings is by pressing escape on our keyboard and then selecting settings. Or if I was on a touch device, I'd be able to press the three bars in the top center of the screen and then select settings and I'm back in my game settings. You'll notice accessibility is listed at the top, but if you're new to Minecraft education, I encourage you dive into this how to play section. You'll find that there's all kinds of great resources and information for you. This tutorial will not go through every game setting, so you'll find many of the answers to the questions that you're looking for found in this how to play section including this education section because in Minecraft education there are some unique blocks, features, and abilities that your students who may have experience playing Minecraft outside of Minecraft education, they'll be wowed and this will set you up for success. Looking for anything specific? Look at this A to Z encyclopedia where you'll find all, again, more answers to your questions, but especially going to the very bottom, this options and cheat section for you too. Now, exploring our game settings here, you'll notice and one of the first questions that you'll be asked is, are we in survival or in creative mode? And in the default game mode, this will be for those that are joining you in your world. And typically it's going to be between survival and creative. Survival means that your players will need to gather all the materials that they need to build, craft, and survive. They can experience hunger, they can experience damage, where in creative, you remove all of those survival elements, allowing players to easily create and destroy structures, allow them to have unlimited building materials in their inventory, even fly. Now your personal game mode can be different than your students. Maybe your students are in survival mode, you can be in creative mode, or you could even be in spectator, which means that you have the ability to navigate through walls and even the floor to experience what is going on beyond the world that your students may not be able to see. Now, returning back to our game settings, I'm gonna return back to creative mode. You'll also notice that there is a difficulty option here. You can mix and match your difficulty and game mode depending on what you're after for your use. Peaceful means that there are no mobs that re uh, come out at night. However, in easy, there are mobs. However, they don't inflict as much damage or normal and then even hard that creates more damaging mobs. Typically keeping it within peaceful, easy or normal is what most educators do. Scrolling further down, there's a player level permission for multiplayer. There's a whole tutorial video on understanding player permissions. I encourage you to explore. But then in the world options area, another common one that you will want to enable is showing coordinates. These are those numbers that you see in the top left corner of the screen. These will adjust depending on your movement within the game in an X, Y, Z fashion. But then returning back to our game settings here, scrolling further down, if you're playing in multiplayer, having a locator bar shows you in proximity how far you are from another player. Many of these other settings are pretty self-explanatory where you can enable or disable them however you want. But even scrolling further down, we have our cheats, which these are really allowing you to use slash commands or command blocks to be able to uh, code and use different features there. Another common one is to enable always day. A real life value of uh, a Minecraft day is 20 minutes, 12 minutes of daytime and eight minutes of nighttime. So many educators may want to always have the always day enabled. And if you do toggle those, you'll see that that daylight cycle uh, toggles with it. Mob spawning means that this prevents all mobs from spawning. Mob griefing means that prevents mobs from destroying the world and so forth. Even the weather cycle, like if you don't want it to rain or storm. And you can even explore these in the classroom settings where allow commands is just like saying activating cheats, that always day, perfect weather, keeping inventory, and many educators may even want to enable or disable, depending on their use, the use of destructive items like TNT, player damage, or player versus player damage. And then 
that resource link is a great and powerful ability to add external websites, assessment links. You link it in there. And then if you share this world with your students or they are joining in a multiplayer and they pause the game, they then would see this link listed at the game pause setting where you'd see it up here. Diving further into our game settings, you can explore things like your controls, whether you're using a keyboard and mouse, using a controller or a touch device, but then exploring our general settings here. A common one is in audio, where you can adjust all the sound volumes for all the different uh, aspects of the game. A common one that educators may want to bring down to zero, especially if they are using a classroom full of devices without headphones is bringing that music down to zero and that would be done on the individual student device but in video adjusting that brightness changing any of these other uh, aspects here like viewing bobbing that's that movement when a character or player is walking or moving throughout the game but even changing things like the clouds and the skies if you ever have a student who has rendering uh, issues or lag uh, a delay in their gameplay, check in the video settings under render distance. If they have maybe maxed this out, you'll see that there's a note that says a high render distance could cause a low frame rate crashes or other unexpected behavior. So bringing that down to a recommended value for me and my device right now, it's about 50 uh, chunks here. So every device may be unique in that way. So exploring many of these game settings will set you up for success and enjoy a game within Minecraft education. There's more to learn. Check out our Minecraft Teacher Academy courses and other learning opportunities at aka.ms forward slash mcgettrained.